All right, so welcome back. And today we're actually gonna be taking a look at Thermal Grizzly Carbonite. Not particularly because it's Thermal Grizzly, but because it's a thermal pad for your CPU to heat sink. So this video kind of fell together on itself and I just figured I'd record and document this and just share my experience with it. So this is the Ryzen 9 5900X and we're gonna be doing some tests on it, some bench testing and uh, some other little things that we're gonna do with just different CPU coolers and everything just to kind of have fun to say the least and I realized buying thermal paste is getting kind of expensive and these tubes are typically anywhere from 10 to $20 this is the Arctic MX4 the thermal grizzly cryonaut which I typically use is about $20 so it gets expensive having to take it off reapply it take it off reapply it the other issue that I ran into is that consistency so did I put the same dot? Did I put the same amount of thermal paste on the CPU for each application when I'm changing heat sinks or whatever? So as far as my test and as far as you know my peace of mind, I wanted some consistency. So I decided to go ahead and invest in this uh, thermal pad right over here. I paid, I think, $15 for it on Amazon. I'll put a link for it down below. It comes in this package. And of course it has all these writings over here, so I don't know, whatever. And it's pretty cool, cause look how it's sealed. I mean, I don't know if you've ever seen anything like that, but I mean, it's pretty much sealed very well. One, two, three, four, five. Five stickers sealing it. So yeah, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pop it in. We're gonna show this product and see how it works. Now, typically most people ask, is thermal paste better than um, thermal pads? Long story short, reading and taking about looking at a bunch of YouTube videos, thermal pads are a lot easier for CPU testing and benchmarking in the simple fact that you can reuse it and you get better consistency. Thermal paste is better in the fact that you are going to get slightly lower temperatures and I have seen that in a bunch of videos. You might get anywhere from a 2 to 5 degree difference between this over here so i would say more for the testing aspect and the fact that even though i spent twenty dollars for this it is going to save me money in the long run and the fact that i don't have to keep going out reapplying thermal paste cleaning it alcohol wipes all that stuff we'll just pop this and at least i can say that my tests were somewhat consistent so let's get a knife let's move this right over here let's try to pop this open so I'm not sure if this is actually how you suppose they want you to pop it open, but okay, there's one, two, three, four. I gotta remember, towards your buddy, not your body, because I am notorious for cutting my finger open. There we go. And there we go. There's my pad. That's pretty much it. It actually looks like one of those uh, glasses when you buy a new pair of glasses, they give you those little pads to kind of clean your glasses, those little wipes on it. So it kind of looks like that. So nothing fancy to it. Yeah. So I've already went ahead and I cleaned my CPU and I cleaned my heat sink. I was doing an AIDA 64 te stress test on it. And when I was doing AIDA 64 or Cinebench, I found out that my temperatures were going to 90, 90 degrees. So our baseline for this is actually about 90 degrees, full pegged, 100% CPU load. And I should have documented that before, but it was 90 degrees, not to mention that we're using this and we'll, we'll talk about that. So let's go ahead, let's pop this in and let's see how this thing works. But yeah, this is pretty much it. It just kind of slides on, which is kind of nice. There we go. Nice and easy. All right, so let's put my heat sink on. Let me just run a quick thermal test and then we'll close this out. All right, so I don't know if this comes in the camera. Maybe I could move this over here, but we've been doing this test for over five minutes. Our CPU is just staying steady at 90 degrees, which is pretty warm for my 5900X. Our max spike was 91 degrees and it's just kind of sitting there. It's been over five minutes, so we're going on six minutes right now. So that's where we're at with it. My um, idle temps when I turn this thing on, because remember we're using a stock AMD and we're gonna do a separate CPU, a separate video on that. We're using a stock AMD Ryzen CPU cooler, open bench and all that stuff. And it is kind of cooler in my garage. The idle temps were about 40 as before without the thermal pad, it was about 
50. So it was a 10 degree over there. And then on the stress test, we're at 90 after five minutes and it'll probably climb up, but this does work. It's pretty great. Great alternative if you're gonna be doing CPU testing, heat sink testing, and you just don't wanna waste a lot of money on thermal paste, because thermal paste can get expensive if you gotta test multiple CPUs or heat sinks. That does get expensive. Less mess, less cleanup, so easy to use. Tips and advice, make sure you clean the heat sink really well, clean the CPU really well. That is a big thing that they do talk about on this over here. And that's about it. And just to show a comparison, is this better than thermal paste? Well, think about it. This is just a pad that's just gonna cover it. It is gonna have thermal conductivity, but thermal paste kind of sinks into the pores if you spread it right. And by sinking into the little pores of the CPU, you are gonna get more thermal conductivity. So that is something to definitely consider when using it. And just by explaining it, what is a thermal pad? Well, pretty much just looking on the internet, they're preformed rectangles of solid material, often paraffin, wax, or silicon base, commonly found on the underside of heat sinks to aid the conduction of heat away from components being cooled. So it is a solid piece, but the only issue is with those, and this is why thermal pads typically have less cooling efficiency, not by much. I mean, it's only a couple of degrees compared to thermal paste is that thermal pads don't get into all the little pores and the unevenness. You know, it, there is some flexibility, but thermal paste is gonna provide a better coating just point blank on that so thermal grizzly carbonot am i saying this because it's thermal grizzly no there's a couple other brands that are pretty good overall not too bad definitely something to consider for anybody who's just doing a lot of testing i think it's great for testing in my opinion and that's probably what i would use it for so comment down below let me know what you think recommendations of thermal pads or thermal paste and which one you prefer thanks for watching and we'll see what we'll come up with next all right, so I know I just finished this video, just, but I just wanted to show this. I was taking this apart, getting ready to get ready for the next video and all that stuff. And I just wanted to show this, and I don't know how well that comes out on the camera. But as you can see, the pad left kind of the imprint of where it was sitting. And I guess when I installed the CPU cooler, it kind of shifted a little bit. So I wasn't getting as good a coverage as I could. So I just wanted to record this and let, let anybody know that if you are using this pad, make sure that you get good contact with the pad and the CPU and it doesn't shift over so just kind of keep that in mind if your temperatures seem a little wonky I don't know if this skewed my test or anything like that but I wasn't really trying to go for a comparison of thermal pad versus thermal paste I just wanted to show the thermal pad but if you're gonna use a thermal pad just kind of make sure that you have it centered and it stays centered because if not it's gonna be offset and you can kind of see it let me see if I could get this out of here Maybe that shows a little better. But you could kind of see where I probably have maybe a quarter of an inch on the left side that had no contact and it just went over. So just something to consider. Something to definitely keep in mind when you're working on, uh, when you're using these thermal pads. So yeah, just a quick tip.